How do you get good at improvisation? This is such a fascinating question because it is more complicated than you think. For some of you, you're like, no, it's not. You just sit down and you do the thing. Well, thank you. You also are part of the elite few where it is natural for you. I did not belong to that group and many of us don't belong to that group. One person I'm thinking of in particular is Kai. This person put a comment in one of my previous podcast style things. I'm going to start doing more of those in the future. Got some crazy touring going, so that's why I missed out on it for now, but I'm going to bring that back. And this comment was saying, what's the number one most important thing on how to get good and how to start learning how to improvise? This person, Kai, said that they are a classical piano teacher. Now, let's unpack that word just a little bit to understand who we're dealing with. When you are talking about being a classical piano teacher, you generally know how to read music well. You understand basic technique. You probably also understand basic music theory, chords, scales, things of that nature. Now, they wanted me to summarize the most important thing about improv. That is a challenging proposition, but I want to give it my best shot, especially knowing a bit about their background, about being a classical piano teacher. So this is going to be a very directional video. If you have been playing piano for a while, or any instrument for that matter, if you feel like you know the approach of how to play music, but when you sit down and you're either tasked to make up something over the top of a different piece of music or just make up something on the spot, you're like, uh, there's no way I can do that. Well, this video is for you. I want to give you my number one most important tip. And you probably already know there's going to be a lot of caveats. And I love to make some follow-up videos on those. I might even make a whole series on improv if that sounds interesting to you. But let's start with the number one most important tip, idea, concept, whatever you have about improv, and that is this. It is a practiced skill just like everything else. People think improvisation is natural and that it comes from creativity. But I'm going to argue that point against them. Creativity itself is a practiced skill. If you want to be a writer, you write. If you want to compose, you compose. If you want to be a speaker, speak. If you want to make content, make content. All these things are practice. Now, is there a natural talent and a natural knack some of us have? Absolutely. As I mentioned earlier, I was one of those people that did not have this natural talent. I did not naturally improvise. I learned classically. And for many, many years, the first 12 years of my life, and then probably another 10 years or so after that, I mostly just learned piano by reading music and then a little bit by ear and then started making up music after that. And even when I was making up music, I was writing it all down. How do you practice improv? How do you get good at it when you come from my perspective of not knowing how to do it at all? That's the follow-up question. Well, the way you practice improv is the same way you practice reading music or practice any other skill. You set a parameter that is not overwhelming. So for the beginner, it might be one minute of improv. It might be five minutes. And you also set it up in a way that feels comfortable. For some of you, that might be just diving right in. You hit a timer for five minutes and you just sit down at the piano and go plink, plonk, plonk. If you can do that, do it and be okay with the fact it's going to sound like garbage. You didn't sound good at the piano when you first started. Why do you think you're going to sound good at uh, improv right away? For others of you, you're going to need to define it even more. And that is okay. Put another definition on it. Oh, I'm only going to be playing on the C major scale. Oh, I'm only going to be using these notes. This pattern is going to be my improv. You might go, wait, that's not improv at that point. 
No, it still is improv. You chose a certain parameter to operate within. As long as there's decisions in there, as long as you can change things, that really is, in my opinion, what makes it something creative and improvisatory versus something that is set in stone. So if you're looking at a piece of paper and you're doing everything exactly on that piece of paper, that's not really improv. But if you're looking at a piece of paper and it has two different things you can do, and you go back and forth between choosing which thing you're going to do, guess what? You're practicing improv. That momentary choice in your brain, this thing, that thing, this thing, that thing, that's what you're honing. This is the number one thing to do if you want to get good at improv, and that is do it and practice it and define it in a way that is approachable for you. As you get better, you can start adjusting those parameters. If you were one of those people that were just going pling, plonk, well, guess what? Start defining the parameters smaller. Oh, I'm only going to play notes in the C major scale. I'm only going to play notes from these patterns. Oh, I'm going to remember what I played earlier and try to play that again later on. These are all very cool ways to challenge yourself. On the other hand, if you were one of those people that had to define every parameter, maybe you loosen up a little. Hey, I'm going to add E flats to my C major scale, and I'm going to let that note go as well. These are little tiny tips, and this is just the tip of the iceberg because there are so many modalities and different decisions we can make along the way as to how we practice our improv and what we do with it. But until then, I want you to try this and come back and comment and see if it didn't make a difference. All you have to do is commit the same exact way you got good at classical, at reading music, at scales, anything else you've ever done with piano. I'm Robert Monroe. My channel is all about music and having fun with music and having fun with life. And I love for you to just subscribe and follow. And let me know if you like the idea of me doing more videos about improvisation. I would love to do a series on that. And yeah, let's bring back the podcast. All right. Until next time, thanks, Kai, for the question and peace out.